Since 2015, it's been my own tradition to make a few JRPG resolutions to improve my gaming life for the year ahead. I do this to encourage myself to play the experiences I think I don't have time for and to finally catch up with any JRPG urges I had throughout the previous year that I didn't take the time to finally cater to. These resolutions always come with mixed levels of success, but they always help me improve my gaming time and are a fun way to start planning what I want to play each year. While keeping up with new releases is a challenge in itself, there are a few things in my JRPG life I've been wanting to do since I've found some new things I liked last year and also some things I've been wanting to do for a while and never got around to. With those things in mind, these are my three JRPG resolutions for 2018. In 2014, I saw the trailer for Arno Surge and was flawed by it. First from its music, then from its stunning visuals, and all together with its interesting premise about planets, it became a must-buy JRPG for me back when I rarely bought JRPGs at release. Arno Surge wasn't perfect, but its deep social systems and story were different to a lot of the JRPGs I was used to, and sparked my interest in Gust as a JRPG developer. Last year I played another Gust game called Blue Reflection, and it ended up being one of my favorite JRPGs of last year, thanks to its great story and unique combination of Magical Go RPG with social sim elements similar to other games I know and love, and served as a reminder that Gust makes games that interest me. One of Gust's biggest game series is the Atelier one, and I've had my eye on it for a while but have never actually dedicated the time to playing one of the many parts of the series. With Atelier, Liddy, and Suel coming out in English this year, and its Japanese demo being free and already out, I'm confident this goal will probably be done and I can finally play the pretty visuals I'm attracted to whenever I see them. 2017 was a fantastic year for JRPGs, and my five favorites from it are some I really love and want to come back to. Whether it be for extra social moments I haven't seen yet, or the incredible replayability of some of the titles I loved last year, while I spent many, many hours with all of them, there is still plenty to see, and I want to dive even deeper into them. An obvious choice for this would be Persona 5, since I've had intentions to platinum it even before I got it in English, but even shorter games like Blue Reflection have things I just didn't get to that would give me a deeper insight into its story. Since I'm still finishing up Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I'm not sure which game I'll do this with yet, but there are definitely some worlds I'd like to go more into, and this goal will be my perfect excuse to do so. Throughout 2017, I had a few really random JRPG cravings of sorts. Old games I loved, like Persona 4 Golden, Final Fantasy XIII 2, and Kingdom Hearts 2 popped into my mind at random points during the year, but I had no time to play them. I want to pick up a game I used to love, and regardless of whether I've platinumed or 100%ed it in the past, I want to replay it just because I like it, and to re-witness the story, and remember why I loved it so much in the first place. I don't have a solid idea for which game I'll do this with yet other than the ones I mentioned, but I'm really excited to re-get to know an old favorite all over again and be reminded of one of the many experiences that made me fall in love with the wonderful JRPG genre. Thank you for watching this video, let me know in the comments below if you have any JRPG resolutions or gaming related resolutions for 2018, let me know what they are, I would love to hear them. You can like and share this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel for more JRPG content like this, and ring that bell to get notifications on whenever I post so you don't miss a thing. Check out the blog at jrpgjungle.com, I do everything I do here but in written form, and you can find me on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Instagram, all at JRPG Jungle. Those links will be in the description along with links to all the games mentioned and shown in this video. Until next time, thank you, bye!